Try it yourself. Doing science is something everyone should be engaged in. No matter how old you are or how young you are or whether you live here or far away, science can be done by everybody. To do science, sometimes we have to collect data and use tools. And I have some tools that we're going to show you. The first tool that a scientist might use is called a graduated cylinder. A graduated cylinder is used to measure the volume of a liquid. It's interesting because it's graduated, or it has markings all the way up the side of the cylinder. When we measure this, like I'm going to do right here, we carefully pour a liquid in the graduated cylinder, and then we take a reading. It's important that it is flat, and you want to take your reading down low, right where the water level is. If I get down a little bit closer here, you can see that there are different markings. Sometimes the water will be curved. You want to look at the bottom of the marking. It's important to know the volume of a liquid when you're trying to learn certain things such as flow or how much it takes up. We have different graduated cylinders for smaller amounts. This graduated cylinder will only hold 10 milliliters. Scientists and people like you use tools to solve mysteries and answer questions. Another tool that we use 